My god. What is happening here? Are you okay? Physics? Hitbox? Uh -huh. I don't... When I run around, it's not happening. Like, if I walk around, it doesn't happen. If I run, it doesn't happen. But the moment I he raises the, his hand, it loses its mind. I can only assume it's like a hitbox problem with the armor. And when they stand straight up, it like doesn't want to hit, like stand. Let's let's check. Uh oh. You know, what? let's just put you away for a second. Ah. Okay, it's gone now. That was a trip. <laughs> it was just having a weird time. It had a different center of gravity. All right, let's get this out of the way. So I've been passing by these a lot. I knew they were here. I just didn't correlate them. But yeah, these are probably where I put the three queens. I'm surprised I didn't think about it sooner. Because I knew they were here and I knew about the queens. I think it's just the queens weren't a problem I was trying to solve. So I was like, hey, like more queens. And then I moved on with my life and I just kept collecting more. Because I have so many other tasks. Like 20 tasks in this game that are more explicit that I was kind of just moving on with it. Bees. 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 Honey. Only one honey, though. And they don't even attack me or anything. Is it because I have... I'm, because this is because I'm putting out smoke? Could be. Could be the smoke, because then they might just be, like, afraid. I don't know. I'm not, not afraid, that's the wrong word. Uh, bees are supposed to be, like, sedated or... Re not, uh, repelled's not right. But, like, they, they calm down around smoke. They just react less in general. I still don't have another acorn. Ah! They're hard. They're rare, apparently. God damn. They're the only resource that's ever been rare in this game, I feel like. As far as, like, my items go. So we're heading over here because Silas said that he had these two steal a ring for him, similar to the one that I get, went and got. Silas seems to be big on employing, uh, mice on dangerous missions to get rings for him. Look, Fatal, a mouse, dressed as a guard. There's gotta be a name for that. I, a traitor. No dialogue about that? No, I can't even respond to that? It's called blending in? God. Thought you guys might actually, like, appreciate that kind of, like, clever ruse that you can just pretend to be one of these guys. I've got something for you. A silver ring. Silas says it's his. Oh no, I've come to get something from you. It's a silver ring. His? It's not his. We stole it fair and square. He did pay us to steal it, Gusto. Aye. And then the scrunt got it, had us arrested and dragged it. and dragged here. But how'd they catch you? There was a chest full of coins. We couldn't resist. It was heavy, though. We didn't get far. Gusto wouldn't let go. They were so shiny. It was gold fever. Gold fever, they say it's a real condition. See, he understands. Where'd you steal it from? From the library of Waddle Daub's ma manor house. He's a collector of rare antiques, or antiquities. He's a scrunt. A very wealthy scrunt. Please, I need that ring, it's important. If we tell you where it is, will Silas let us go free? I can't promise that. There is something you could give us. Something worth more than any riches. Fame! Did you finish that song you were writing about us? Aye, I did. Well, let's hear it. Then maybe you'll see about that ring. You can just play the wrong song. That's funny. Rascal's really gig. May I present to you the greatest of crooks But you'll never have read about them in your books Brother and sister, the siblings in crime But they've never been caught And they've never done time Fatali is wily and right to the end 
But she's not someone on whom you'd ever depend. If it tallies the brain's gusto, surely the muscle. They know how to rob, and they know how to hustle. At thieving and stealing and crime of the best. You want to try outsmarting them, be my guest. Now please check your pockets, cause for our finale you've all been robbed blind by gusto and fatality. This song is so far beyond my abilities, holy fuck. That's actually pretty good. I think that's the first, the closest we've come to like going into like a... What is it, like a... Almost like a super giant game, it's like a Darren Korb track or something. I could do it with a bit more gusto though. Ha ha ha. So, who has the silver band? Balor Lar. The scrunt that arrested us. He took the ring. He's a guard here, works the day watch. Hangs out in the commissary at night. Notorious gambler. Aye, he wears the ring on a chain around his neck. Perhaps I can steal it from him. Go ahead and try if you want to lose a paw. He's not like the other guards here. Aye, he's good at his job. Scrunt. Perhaps he'd be willing to trade it for something. Trade? No. Wager, maybe. Aye. If the stakes are high enough. I should go. Farewell. Hmm. It's not n It's not nighttime, right? So it's not time for getting her to sleep. Maybe? Let's try the dialogue anyway. Shh. He's here. Oh. They're suggesting you're talking about me behind my back. Great. Yeah, I think it has to be nighttime before I can deal with her sleep problems. I think I'm gonna go back to... Excuse me. I think I'm gonna go back to Silas just to check. He might have information that I could use about this guy. I mean, he might even be able just to get it. Be like, oh, that guy? Yeah, that's easy. Whatever. Uh, I'm guessing not, because it's a video game. <laughs> Generally speaking, I usually have to solve all the problems. But... He could at least have information I need. Or like... Some sort of way of, of cheating at the gambling, or... Some way of... Knowing how to win against this person at gambling. Like a tell, or... A trick behind his weighted dice, or some sort of like... You know, story context where information can help you with the gambling problem. Or maybe I just need to go gamble, and then that's that. What is it? Those two thieves still have the silver band. Keep at it, Tilo. Don't let them make a fool of you. Well, I got shouty about it. Alright, never mind. He's not gonna be any help in this situation. Wow, it got way brighter. I think the sun must be j just now coming up. But I don't think it was this bright a moment ago. Alright, so it turns out Silas is not even a little bit of help. Can't even give me an update on the person who is the person who has the thing. Which seems really odd to me, because, like, you would think that he would have information for me, given that, uh... I guess this is just a way to farming healing resources, right? That's the main point? Uh, you think that he'd have information about his co-worker for me? Like, structurally, it just makes sense for that to be a thing that happens in the game. Um... Now, now to play the fun game of where was that guy? I think it's this way. Yeah, up those stairs, right? No, these stairs. I have like an almost unconscious awareness of how to navigate this place, where whenever I think about it, I'm like, what? No, what? I'm like, I have trouble navigating, but then I just uh, will sometimes just wander straight there without having to think about it that much. Hello, it is I, Gardo McGardington, who, are, who is a guard. How goes it, Buck? How about a round of high-low seven? Alright, high-low seven it is. Bets of between two and five florins accepted. And you need at least five florins to play. Are you in? What do you say we make things a little more interesting this time? 
What do you have in mind? That silver band, where'd you get it from? You like it? It's white gold. I took it from the two scrunt mice down in the holding cells. They're not going to be needing it. Tell you what, if you win the next round, the silver band's yours. And if the house wins, I take your loot. My loot? I, or are your words stronger than your nerve? Call it friend, high, low, or seven. Fuck. That's not a good stake to have. Uh-oh. I, I guess we're agreeing to it too, I can't even back out. Okay, so we're betting my loot on it. Uh, seven? You're certain? I. Alright, take your first throw. Three. Now, roll again. Aha! I wonder if you always win. Maybe you always win, narratively. Or maybe there's a whole sub-quest where you lose and you have to steal back your loot. Two throws of the dice. For a total of seven. Seven! You've won. The rat stares at you for a moment, then removes the silver band, then slides it across the table to you. Perhaps you'll afford me the chance to win this back later, Scow. I think it was time I was going. Ha ha. Ha. Ha ha. Bye. Before he gets mad. I don't know what the variables are there, but I was definitely spooked. Thought I was going to get in trouble. Oops. Wrong spot. That's fine, though. There we are. Yeah. I don't have enough of this costume, though. That's better. Yeah, we've got four pieces of that one, four pieces of that one. A yeah, pirate's the one that I'm full up on. It's me, the pirate. A striking resemblance to a completely different species of creature. Tilo, you're back. And I have the silver ring from the mice. And I have news. Great news. A prison transport is due to make a rest stop here on its way to Yuva. Do I know that one already? I think so. Mara's with them. Y you're certain? I, I'm sure of it. Her name is on the ship's manifest. It's due to make harbor any time now. The harbor, how do I get there? You can take the elevator all the way down, or follow the path from the far tower. Godspeed, Mouse. Silas, thank you for all that you've done. I'm glad I could do right by you. Go on. Now, you know where I am if you need me. Wait, the silver band. With a nod, you pull the band from your pouch and toss it to Silas. You throw like a mouse. Hey! I kind of just did a bunch of nice things for him while I waited for news to arrive, but hey, the one thing that he's doing for me is pretty nice, and that I find out whether or not my uh, wife is alive. That's kind of a big deal. Oh, man. So what do we think is our over-under on our chances here? Like, which button's the damn map? How late in the game are we? I'm a little concerned. I'm like, should I be... Should I be buying all those maps up real quick or something? Out of fear that it might just end on me? I keep waiting for a chance for money to matter in this game. And it kind of hasn't been. So I might just go ahead and just buy a bunch of crap from this guy. Just to have my map filled in with the things that I haven't been able to find yet, or something. I keep thinking, like, maybe there'll be a, some kind of place where... ...you spend money to do a thing, eventually. And it's largely not been true. Let's see. Can't we find the way? Need a map. Six Florence of Peace. So the only map I'm missing right now is the shore. I'll buy it. 
Map of the Bone Shore. You're certain? All right, here. There we go. Be careful what you're digging up down there. That's the last of the maps. So it's every map in the game, probably, or at least every map that I've discovered. I assume you have to discover a location first or something, but I don't really know. Need help finding something. The key to the armory. The key to the courtyard. Well, I've found these things already, right? So this is for the checkpoint passes. I'll give it some thought for two florins. All right, fine. All right, give me your maps and a moment to think. There, I've marked out some places worth looking at. Anything else I can help you with? That was cheap. Clothing. The ranger's costume. Eight thousand start to get more expensive, don't they? I wonder if they're all eight. Now, the, the, the king's costume is the one I have less of. Six florins for the king's costume. There's many a noble rat buried down in the catacombs. And the commander has fine clothes for ceremony occasions and the like. What about a beard? A beard? A frog down in the jail, he has a beard. He'll not give it up easily, though. Oh, the frog's beard? Could you make me a crown? I'll need gold. Seven nuggets at least. Seven nuggets of gold. S All right, seven nuggets of gold. You'll have it. Well, I already have them. So you have to cr Okay, so I had to ask him about this stuff because you have to like... Seems like you have to make the crown. All right. I have gold for the crown. Here. Let's see. Uh, the quality's not great, but it'll do. Well, I've got like twice as much as you, what you asked for. Surely that could make up for it. All right, your majesty. Give me six hours and you'll have your crown. Look at that face. That laughing, sarcastic, condescending... I don't even know. It's like seven different emotions at once in one face. All right, I'll be back then. Six hours and not before. Yeah, these start to get a little expensive, but the... Secondary items are... Uh, they start to get a little expensive, but there's just not that many of them. So it's kind of okay. Let's do the ranger's costume. Oops, I accidentally clicked on that. Oops, that's just the wrong thing. Going a little too fast with some of these menu options. Alright, show me those maps of yours. I'll mark on some places we should try looking. Show me those maps of yours. Pretty much always the same dialogue for some of these things. Alright, so now I've got Thief and Ranger and King on my map, but I have to get two of the King items specially. One you get from the frog, apparently, and one you get from, uh... One you get from him just crafting it. I'm giving it some thought, and I might have some ideas for four florins I can help. I th did he not already... Okay, four florins it is. There, I've marked some places to start looking on your maps. So he previously did not ma mark them on the maps? He's just generally getting in my way, isn't he? Oh. Checkpoint passes. That's all that's left in this entire zone. How am I doing on money still? 62. All right, I'm not that, not that concerned anymore. I've still got plenty after dealing with that stuff. I'm gonna pay a visit real quick to our beloved friend in the jail. Because apparently, he may be of help for the beard. Do you normally walk across this bridge? What? I am not used to seeing him down here. I'm kind of amused that by the idea that repeatedly wiping out all of the 
uh, banners throughout the entire keep is like one of your primary sources of experience. In one, because it's an act of rebellion in a narrative sense, but also because it's a... Uh, it's a stealth thing to do. Go take out these things, but the guards are all around. And do that throughout the entire keep. It's like a little meta game that rewards you by giving you a few more bits of health and stuff. Hey, beard. How do I rip that off your face? Mousy, I need your help. Uma Rezias came, uh, came by to see me last night. Oh, she is lovely. What did Rezia want? The pleasure of my company, of course. And who could blame her? She's coming back again later today, and I want to look my best. Thing is, see, my beard? There's some gray in it now. You'll need to help me dye it and run a brush through it before she gets here. This is very important, so don't muck it up. Uh, what color? What color? Think, Mousy. They didn't call me Red Whiskers for nothing. They called you Red Whiskers? All right, how do I make the dye? Valian holly bushes. You'll need the berries from three. I already have those, right? Where am I going to get a, a brush from? I don't know. Try the commander's room. He's a real dandy. Uh, where can I find Valian hollies? They like to go around ruins. It's the line from the stone, I reckon. But how do I know? I'm just a pirate. Carol, look, I have the berries and brush for your beard. Well, run the brush through it, will you? Wisps of white hair snag in your brush's bristles as you drag it through the frog's matted whiskers. Soon, you've got enough hair to make a beard of your own. There we go. Now pop the berries in my mouth. Aren't red berries poisonous? Aye, the juices will drive me you mad, so they say. But I've been using them for years, and look at me. The frog works the berries around in his mouth a while, grinding them between his jaws until a scarlet mash droops down his chin and onto his beard. Ugh. Don't just stand there, gopping. Rub it in. Don't forget the eyebrows. You gingerly massage the sweet-smelling, sticky red paste through Carol's whiskers. Uh Well, what do you think? My, you look like a tadpole. Ah, get on with you. Are we done? Get out. I should go. Farewell. Don't let the door snap your tail. That was, it was like a 50-50 chance. I wasn't entirely sure, but it, it appears that yes, that was a compliment to call him a tadpole. Which is a young frog, but it's so young that it's like weird. So I wasn't sure how, what direction that would go in. I'm going to pay a quick visit to the sewers. There we go. Just check the map. Nothing! The map has nothing! Alright. Well, it's going to take an, an eternity to get out of here, so let's not... How much... Do I already have four pieces of the king set? No, that's my, that's my hat. We're working on it, though. Oh my god, I've got to see that in the full light, that beard. But yeah, it's, uh, they don't really chase you on the way out of here, so I figured I would stop, I would, uh, just get dressed, dressed up for running instead of dealing with how long it takes to walk out of here. But part of me wonders whether it actually is faster to walk, uh, run out of here than walk. Due to the way the stamina works where you have to wait for it to come back for like a year. <laughs> God damn stamina. You call yourself a mouse? How are you this... Oh right, there's a whole sneaky thing there where I can still at least move forward. No mouse should ever be this slow. <laughs> the stamina meter. Oh my god, they're still coming. That's not supposed to happen. I'm gonna keep going until I'm like in a different zone entirely. Then they'll stop chasing me. Why are they so persistent today? Oh my god, calm down game. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I probably I figured I probably didn't have anything to, to fill up anyway. 
There we go. Twice now, recently, I've been sent on a quest where I already had all of the materials both times. Thankfully. You look a little stuck, Ratman. I've got a six hour wait for you, but I've got plenty else going on, so it's fine. Hey, please stop staring directly at the person I'm going to talk to. Wait, am I? You're not one of the people I have a reason to come back to. Unless they want an update on the whole thieving thing. I don't know, I don't know why I came this way. Hey, you're back. Yeah, it's nothing to do. Oh, <laughs> Adorable mouse sneeze. Excuse me. Coming through. I'm surprised they even stop for me and they don't just like crash straight through me because I am like completely out of their line of sight. Oh hey, I can see it. Ta da! It's just sitting there. Yeah, because there was one up here on the map and then I walk up here looking for it and I'm like, oh, it's just in the open. Okay. Now, if I was real scummy, I could just leave without them because I have a checkpoint pass. Although I also have a costume, so I can, like, just pretend I work here anyway. So between the two, I'm pretty set up. It says that there's one, like, on top of this gate somewhere. This may be one of the chunks of the map I've spent less time around. Got to figure out whereabouts are their whereabouts. It's like right here ish. Nope, didn't make that jump. Uh, you don't see me. Uh, weird chain. It makes sense that there'd be something around here, because this is one of the chunks of the map where I constantly keep looking at it like there's got to be something to do with it. I keep not finding what the interaction may be or something. What was that? Oh. Wow. Well. <laughs> Now I know. Hello, strange stool. I don't even remember where that one originated anymore. I just keep thinking I'll find a use for it. Oopsie daisy. Don't mind me just fraternizing with the, with the prisoners. Because I'm a pro professional. <laughs> Look who it is. Here, I have the passes we need. You do? I see him. Three checkpoint passes, like you said. All right. A true thief must be accomplished in a range of skills. Agility, tenacity, awareness, and the like. If you master every one of them, you can join our guild. Well, it's more of a club than a guild. How many members does your guild have? You mean including us? Doesn't matter. For now, we can teach you one skill from each dis discipline. So what do you want to learn? The fuck are these? Wait, wait, wait. This quest is where they were hiding the whole upgrade system of this game? Cause like there's been like a skill thing just waiting there. I've clearly had like this whole skill thing waiting to be found this whole time. Uh, like there's a whole menu for it. What is the surge? Can I learn what these are or do they just happen? The red mist sounds like I'd murder people. Strong arm, I imagine you pick things up. Maybe you can carry stuff while moving faster. The surge. Explain it to him, Gusto. 
We can show you how to move more quickly, uh, how to more quickly recover your stamina when you're exhausted. Yes. But I also want to know what the other ones are. The stack. This is a good one, you'll see. I can show you how to stack more items in your pouch bottles. Six and the like. That's also okay, but not great. Lung drop. My specialty, see? We can teach you how to recover quickly from a hard landing after a hard, a high fall. So the long, long, drawn out recovery animation would be reduced. Keen ears. This is a thief's most valuable skill. There's a way to sense when an enemy is nearby. We can teach you that. Shit, I- oh, no. Did they switch yes and- and you know, did they switch the yes and no options with each other? Alright, this one's not easy to learn. And for every thief, it's a little different. It's like opening yourself to the world around you. It sense, it sounds, and letting a picture of it grow in your mind's eye. Wow, that is not helpful at all. It helps if you really crouch down, like you're sneaking. For me, it looks like a glowing aura. Give it a try with the guards outside. Oh, I want to check. I want to check what they all are. Did they switch yes and no on me vertically? I think they did. You can't change your clothes near someone. Have some decency, man. All right. It is I, the king. Oh, that's not the king. That's the other one. Oh boy, here he comes. Is that the aura? Ah. I can see the white thing going around. 